These are some items that Nala really seems to enjoy, and we wanted to share them with other pet owners. I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks when it comes to picking out great items for your pet, and they'll be spread out throughout this video, so be sure to watch it until the end. Tip number one is so simple, but one I didn't really think much of when I first got a dog. Don't feel limited to buy items just from a pet store or even a pet section of a department store. This bed is one that my sister got for me in the kids' toy department of Ikea. This is actually a doll's bed, but we dressed it up a little bit and she seems to love it. I think buying kids toys are better for your pet because the items that make up a kids toy is more heavily regulated than toys made for pets. Usually they'll make sure kids toys are less of a choking hazard and that the ingredients aren't poisonous. This is especially important for dogs that are teething like Nala. She chews on anything. Tip number two is shop in the baby section. I got this from the infant section of Ross. Check your local home goods, TJ Maxx, or Marshalls for items in the baby section. You might be surprised to find something awesome. This is actually a belly time mat for babies, but Nala seems to like her belly time on here as well. She also likes to play rough with this poor bear. It's been through a lot. I feel a little bit better knowing that this item was made for human babies. I feel like if it's safe enough for a tiny infant, it should be safe enough for our baby. We do let her knot on a cardboard box every once in a while though. I don't know why she likes it so much. Tip number three is buy intellectually stimulating toys. This is a toy we got on Amazon from a brand called Our Pets. Basically, it's a ball with two compartments and your dog has to get the treats from one side to the other and get them through the hole in order to get to the treat. Nala loves this and chases the ball around, rolling it around and around until she could get to her tasty treat. We like giving this to her when we have to leave the house so that she has something to do. I believe this style of toy is also called the puzzle toy. It's supposed to relieve stress and strengthen their cognitive skills. We just like it because she has a blast with it. One thing to consider is that it is very loud when it rolls across hardwood floors or when she bangs it against the walls. It's a little annoying, but it's Nala's favorite toy. So we'll just have to live with it. Tip number four is buy high quality items that will last. This is actually a nice bath mat that we use for Nala. She plays on top of it, and before she sleeps, we fold it in half and make a mattress out of it. You want to make sure you're washing your pet's toys and bedding at least once a week with a mild detergent. We use 7th generation's laundry pods and throw her items in the washing machine, so you want to make sure your pet's items can withstand some rough toss and tumble. Tip number 5 is buy age-appropriate items for your growing pet. Nala has really loved teething on this Nyla bone, and she even revisits this toy every now and then to give it a good gnaw. This is a human toy. Some of the balls were too hard, so we got her a plushie that she could roll around. She loves to snuggle up with this and play around with it, but of course, she always loves my fingers a little bit more. Tip number six is be attentive to what your pet tells you. Although your pet might not be able to speak, they will tell you what they like and what they don't like. What they eat and what they play with is solely in your hands. You have the responsibility to make sure your pet is getting what he or she needs. Nala really likes this toy called a Kong ball. We put in a peanut butter flavored treat and she loves that thing. Make sure nothing is a choking hazard and that the ingredients are safe for your pet and most importantly, that you're keeping your pet healthy and happy in whatever stage of their life that they are in. They love us unconditionally and loyally and they really do deserve the best. Well, we hope that you like these tips and tricks that we have learned along the way and that you enjoyed seeing what Nala's favorite things are. Thanks for watching.